They're doing good. And the New York Rangers haven't done good since 94 when they won. They're not doing good at all. They're doing great, they're do- What? No, they're doing terribly. No, they're not. I'll pull up. We'll talk about something else, but I'll pull up the uh, NHL standings, and we can talk about that. All right. The Rangers are actually doing really good. They're in first place. Uh, no, the Red Wings are. That's the other part of hockey. Uh, you realize that it's divisional, and it's also re- it's broken up in two tiers now. It's always been broken up that but way. But now they're doing it strictly. There's fewer games now be- into cross division. That's why the Red Wings are only playing the Rangers once. Yeah, that's why the Red Wings are playing the easy teams, and the Rangers are playing anyway, the Anyway, what teams. other news do you got? I'll show you the Rangers standings. Yeah, they're doing really well. Um, there was ten news stories about the Revolution today, and all of them were conflicting. Aha. Uh-huh. So everyone's like, oh, it's coming out in June or October or May or April or December. Did any of these people cite a source? Yeah, they all cited different sources. There was like one thing from Iwata and a thing from Miyamoto today. And it was all confusing and no one could be final. So I, I just kind of ignored all of it and I'll read the final deal tomorrow. Ah, I'm still looking forward to it. Yeah, going to buy it when it comes out. Yeah, and I'm going to use yours. I'll buy a controller for it. <laughs> Better, I think they're going to be expensive. They'll probably be like forty bucks. Yeah, that's fine. I own my one GameCube controller. I own, I'll own my one Revolution controller. I own my one PlayStation One DualShock controller. I got to get one of those. Those are hard to find. Not really. You just only looked in one store. A store which had a zillion regular PlayStation One controllers, but no PlayStation One DualShock controllers. <laughs> I think PlayStation Two controllers might work. I just don't know. Well, uh, that's all you. Yeah. So I saw you were looking at the Rangers standings. Did you? Yeah, not and, like what and you uh, the Rangers are five and five. Not they've five won five and, five and they've lost five. Uh, that's why it says New York Rangers six four. No, no, no. That that doesn't count. All that counts is within the division, and in the division they're five and five. Uh, where does it say that? It says five and four. And no, one. five four and one. One is overtime loss. It doesn't matter. They're six and four. They have thirteen points. No, they're they in have first fi- place. No, they have fifteen points. Even better. The Red Wings have twenty-two points. The Red Wings are in the other half um, of hockey. Um, Montreal has seventeen. Carolina has seventeen. Vancouver has. Those 18. are all in the other half of hockey in the Western Conference. Yeah, and you know what? The Western Conference traditionally tends to win. No, not so much. Yeah, yeah. No. Look at the last 50 years of the Stanley Cup. I do not see a Stanley Cup in your future. Uh, right. You know what? I'll bet you 50 bucks the Red Wings win the Stanley Cup versus whatever team you say will win it. <laughs> and if neither one wins it, we'll keep the pops. Not the Red Wings. So uh, that's a stupid... Fine, then I get at least 10 to 1 odds. No. Oh, so you're saying that they, they don't have a good chance. No, I'm saying that... I'm sure, While I'm sure they have a good chance, if you're going to take such a blanket, blanket bet... I'm just saying the Red Wings are not going to win. I think they are going to win. I say it's way early in the season. They're I not think really the that least, good, and they haven't played any good teams. And in the playoffs, when they're forced to play real teams, then they're not going to win. You realize they are a real good hockey team, and every year they do really, really well. And you got, uh, you know... You're just in fact, they're tied with the... Uh, Jersey Devils for the best teams in the last 10 years. You're just biased. You're not actually, haven't even watched a hockey game this season. You don't know anything about it. You just look at those numbers and you're a Red Wings fan and you go, woo, they're going to win. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Now I want to read about the games. Two, my dad calls me after every game and tells me what happened. Because your dad's a hockey expert. My dad's a hockey nut. He's not a hockey expert. You realize I grew up in Hockey Town. I grew up in Detroit. My family is probably more fanatical about hockey than I am about anime, board games, hockey, uh, geekery, and computers combined. We're fanatical about hockey, but I still contend you are not hockey experts. Uh, I don't know. Not, my mom, uh, actually. Your analysis of hockey is not uh, well, something You realize it's by. not my analysis. It's based on what I hear from other people. Yeah, so, you know. Just we'll see. We'll see. I think the Red Wings got a good chance. Nah. So, Sony... The new uh, Sony record company, their DRM CDs. Ah, the root kit? They just install a root kit on you so that you can't uh, remove the DRM software. Um, great. See, I'd care, but one, I don't. Yep. Because the last CD I bought was Metallica and Justice for All. Yep. But um, the the real issue here is that I want to, while I would never buy CD... You want to get the root kit? Or use Windows... I want to um, have them go to jail for hacking. But it's not hacking, because you bought the CD, and it warns you that it installs copy protection. 
Yeah, but it's kind of like... Uh, and I, I heard, but I can't verify, that the CD itself doesn't actually have the CD logo that says it's a fully compliant oh, CD. Oh, none of those CDs have so, the CD logo from Philips. Technically, nothing illegal was done. It doesn't say it's going to install a rootkit. I mean, if you come and I, if I come to your house and I say I'm going to work on your computer... It, it basically says it's going to, but it says it in legalese. And I, it, I don't think it says you it. You can't get them. They're, they've pretty much got it gold. The only thing you can do is either not buy their product or pirate their products. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's going to. Uh, I think they're definitely going to be in trouble over this. And I don't, I I don't think, think they, they will be unless a third party exploits this rootkit. People are going to get them. It's not going to fly. I don't think anyone cares except us and our fellow geeks. No, plenty of people care. No, they don't because they don't even know. Most people who have a Windows computer don't even know that the spyware they already have is causing their problems. Uh, yeah, but you realize that other nerdy things where only nerds care, like Broadcast Flag, we beat back ferociously. Actually, I'm very pro-broadcast flag. Well, you know, you can be pro or against any of these things, because if you're pro, you say, good, it'll hurt everyone, and then they'll wake up. Yes. Or, or no, because then that's the right way. I used to be very, very on the side of good, but now I'm on the side of evil, because I want people to get their bad medicine and realize they need to change. Uh, I don't like, I'm, I'm going, uh, I was, yeah. Just keep it the good way. If we start letting them get the bad way, we might turn out that it doesn't work, and the people still don't do anything about it. And then we're stuck in this crap. That's fine, because that makes us... The more people let themselves be locked down in their media, their push technology, the more people like us have power over those people because we exist outside of that Mac and I, uh, I couldn't come up with a funny word. Yeah, right but now. then it'll be easier to find out who we are and get us. Get us for what? <laughs> you know, it'll turn into a 1984. It'll be screwed. We're the only ones who'd be smart enough to run a 1984. No, you don't have to be smart to run a 1984. The 1984 runs itself. I don't know. Yeah. It depends on the 1984. I mean, is it a Brazil? Is it The Orwellian? bureaucracy, it, it just does it everything Soviets? on its own, and the people are just cogs in the machine. You don't need anyone to run the machine. Yeah, it but it could, be, it could be like a Harrison Berger on 1984, where there's smart people who run it because they're the only ones who know but how to keep it going. if the smart people are running it, then it doesn't matter. Because they're smart, but they're also evil. Or stupid. In oh, if they're ways. also evil, then, you know. Or, not... you know, they could be savants. They're real good at running an Orwellian society, but they're real bad at everything else. Uh Mm. So, uh, SCO finally, 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 finally actually said what they're suing IBM over, specifically. What was it? It's sealed, and only the judge could read it. So it's made up. Yeah, but they actually filed it, and they said this is it. They said there are 217 bits of code that they bits? believe IBM or sequence. Wait, 217? No, no, pieces, oh. not Bits. You can't say bits if you're talking about code. I can say bits. We call all the bits on this show bits. Are they lines? Are they functions? Are they whole files? Areas. The specific word used in the brief is areas. Right. 217 areas where they think that IBM took their code and put it in open source code. And they're not claiming that it was a copyright infringement. They're only claiming that IBM violated the contract that they signed with SEO. Except IBM didn't sign that contract with SEO. They signed that contract with... Uh, uh, was it AT and T? Or it was a long time ago, and SEO really had nothing to do with this anyway. Uh huh. So it's still BS, and the whole thing is just crap. But SEO finally said what they claim IBM might have stolen. I'm sure Grocklaw has the the whole story. No, because it's sealed, and until either it's unsealed or the court case concludes, we can't read it. It doesn't matter. They're not going anywhere. I can't believe this is still happening. I haven't heard news about it for months. I thought we considering won't. that. I mean, I work for IBM. And most people inside of IBM have never even heard of SCO. That's how little IBM cares about this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Though there, there was some funny news. This is kind of weird news. It's not really news. It's just a weird thing. Uh, there's this... And I saw it because it happened in Rochester. We used to go to school. There's this family, and they have their garage. And they moved into the house, and they found a, a negative, like, of old film, like, 1920s, 1930s film, some pictures, laying on the floor in the middle of the garage. Whatever. Right. They thought that they were just, uh, like, something the previous owner left behind. So they moved in, they threw the pictures away, whatever. See, this is kind of a ghost story to go with the fact that yesterday was Halloween. Oh, great. Don't worry, random. don't worry, because everyone involved is smart, except that they're lacking one critical skill, <laughs> which is problem solving. Uh so uh, a few weeks go by, and one, and then they go out, and another negative is in the middle of their lot garage on the floor. 
That's weird.